Welcome back to some more Master Duel content. So today we are taking a look at the Duel Pass. Now this is a uh, common thing in a lot of these uh, games that are uh, online, which uh, either have a free-to-play element or are just completely paid. So it is no different than a lot of your other games like you know Hearthstone or Pokemon Unite or things like that. So basically uh, we're going to look at what the Duel Pass actually is and exactly how you can unlock the gold version and if it's actually worth it. So uh, yeah, let's dive right in. So uh, you can go to the Dual Pass screen and it'll give you a quick overview of exactly what the Dual Pass is. So if you uh, play a lot of ranked and event duels, uh, that's basically how you're gonna earn dual points. So they talk about dual points a little later on, but basically the distinctions between the Dual Pass are there is a gold pass and a normal pass. Everyone gets a normal pass for free. So if you uh, basically play in a, any sort of dual uh, ranked or the events, which I guess technically are not uh, available just yet, you will earn dual points, um, specifically if you win or uh, even if you just complete the duel. So, so if you finish a duel without surrendering, of course, you will win 50 to 100 points. And if you win a duel, you'll get 120 points. So the uh, grades for the dual pass currently for the free pass go from zero to 50. And then for the gold pass go from zero to 100. So you can see that there is a certain amount of points you will need to earn in order to go up each grade. So from grades two to 10, you only need 50 points. And then from 11 to 15, you need 60, 16 to 20, 70, 21, 25, 80, 26 to 30, 90, and finally 31 and over, you'll need 100 points, being that still um, every time you win a duel, you still will uh, grade up no matter what. So that is um, not a uh, not a too expensive system. Uh, so far, I've made it quite far through the gold duel pass. Uh, hopefully, I will get to the end and we'll talk about what is unlocked at the end. So uh, like I said, every dual pass uh, will be given to uh, every player, and then a gold pass will be given to those who actually purchase the dual pass in the shop. So now let's go take a look at the shop and see what, uh, what they're talking about here for the, uh, the gold pass. So if we go quickly up to the shop, we can uh, take a look at the uh, last tab on the right, and it will talk about the special dual pass tab. So you can click on the gold pass. So here we go. The uh, dual pass uh, is available to purchase in the gold version. It is 600 gems. Now, if you look at the rewards, which we can take a look at right here, you will see that you actually can earn back your 600 gems by purchasing this dual pass. So there's ability to earn 600 gems, 72 normal points, 80 rare points, 100 super rare points, 100 ultra rare points, a pot of greed avatar, which we'll take a look at. Um, it says a mysterious face that is revered across worlds. The more it is forbidden, the greater it is desired. That is uh, quite the uh, quite the meme these days in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, and then we also can unlock the uh, art for Shadal construct. It's a, an enormous Shadal. Thousands and thousands of shadowy strings extend from her back. There's no saying what will happen to a world that becomes ensnared in those strings. So it uh, honestly, the best parts, best parts about this game is it does give a little more lore, a little more backstory to what is actually going on uh, within these Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes and within these different themes. And it connects a lot of things and kind of fills in the details. And that's specifically story mode, but we will get to that in a later video. So definitely stay tuned. But you can see that with each level, you'll receive additional points uh, and additional perks for uh, having the gold pass. So if uh, we take a look at what is actually earned for the standard pass, it'll help you guys get an idea if the actual gold pass is worth it. So uh, first off, uh, there is a, uh, like I said, a normal pass. So you will earn these items right here, which I've already earned all of the normal ones because I'm already grade 63 and it only goes up to grade 50. So uh, for the normal pass, uh, every time you grade up, you will earn uh, a different item. And these items usually are just the same uh, as the uh, gold pass in just a smaller quantity. So uh, there's gems, there's uh, super rare CP points, there's ultra rare CP points, rare and normal. 
So throughout ranking up, you are able to get those. And uh, there's also a bonus where you could unlock uh, all the way at rank 50, you will unlock the upstart goblin uh, icon. And it says an icon depicting a goblin with his amassed riches. Perhaps one day his fortunes will vanish like the burst of a bubble. So again, adding a little more lore into the game and referencing a few different uh, cards actually, um, if you, uh, if you are familiar with the lore of the upstart goblin. So basically, what does the normal pass get you? Well, I've added it up for you. The normal pass will get you in total through uh, 1 through 50. It will get you 200 gems, 27 normal points, 30 rare points, 30 super rare points, and 30 ultra rare points, along with one uh, upstart goblin icon that we just showed off. So that is a relatively, um, you know, relatively uh, a decent amount of stuff. Uh, it basically, 200 gems means that it gives you two booster packs. And then pretty much all of the CP points, um, except for normal, for some reason, they only give you 27, but they basically give you 30 of each. And that means that you can unlock or craft one uh, uh, of each type of rarity. So you can effectively craft a normal rare, super rare, and an ultra rare just by creating, uh, just by creating the uh, the crafting method, which uh, is in a, a separate video that I went over. But the uh, main point about the gold pass is it kind of doubles your rewards in, in most cases, or uh, even more than doubles. Uh, you can see going from three to eight here. So uh, these rewards, uh, once you buy the gold pass, you can actually earn both. So if you were to uh, uh, upgrade to grade two, you will not only earn these 10 gems, but you will also earn these additional 20. So like I said, uh, we talked about uh, the standard, but in total, the gold, you will get 600 gems, 72 normal, 80 rare, 100 super rare, and 100 ultra rare, meaning that if you just purchase the gold pass uh, in addition uh, to the uh, standard, you will get uh, six packs worth and then about three of each rarity. Um, so about three normal, rare, super rare, and ultra cards to craft. So pretty much uh, just spending that 600 coins, uh, as long as you play through and you uh, get all the way to grade 100, you will have earned back all 600 of your gems, which uh, in theory you can use for the next gold pass, assuming that it uh, is the same uh, structure. So there's a, uh, a very uh, interesting mechanic here where uh, they give you plenty of free gems. So you don't actually have to spend money as long as you didn't spend all of your free gems just yet. So I would recommend uh, probably uh, buying this gold pass. But uh, you know, if you're asking, is this right for you? Well, just look at the fact that do you play enough ranked um, matches to actually get all the way up to uh, this 100? Because it becomes less worth it if you uh, only uh, only make it to, let's say about grade 25 and kind of put down the game. You can probably just get more value out of just opening uh, packs. Uh, but the biggest thing is that if you are unsure if you're gonna hit that target, you can just wait until you start to get higher and higher in your grade and then you can purchase the gold pass whenever you would like and you're still able to claim any of the previous rewards. So if you hit about grade 50, and you think, well, yeah, I'm actually, you know, getting on my way to grade 100. Well, you can just purchase the gold pass and then back claim all of these rewards and get a huge boost um, to upgrade a lot of cards in your deck. So that is definitely something I would recommend. Uh, if there's any uh, other uh, passes that come out, that would be um, even better for even more, uh, you know, expensive prices that have even better rewards because the uh, you know it is very difficult to get these ultra rare points um, if you uh, check out one of my other videos I go through the actual cost benefit analysis of how expensive these ultra rare points and I guess the super rare points are for if you're actually just spending money and not just considering your free gems because uh, you'll sort uh, you'll quickly see that these ultra rare points are very very expensive so it's definitely beneficial to uh, probably look into this uh, pass. And if you're at all serious about the game, this is one of the best ways to actually grind is just to grind ranked until you're all the way through your uh, your gold pass because that's gonna be the fastest way to get the most 
amount of uh, ultra rare points. Uh, so if you uh, enjoyed this video, definitely uh, hit it with a thumbs up. I'm uh, trying to produce a lot of Master Duel content over the next coming weeks. So uh, hopefully that Konami will keep updating the game and keep things fresh. But so far there is a lot that we are diving into right now. And there's a lot of different nuances and trying to figure out how is the best way to build your deck and uh, what are the best decks to build. And uh, also I'll be posting a lot of dual videos um, and hopefully hosting tournaments in the future. So if all that sounds great, then I would highly recommend that you consider subscribing and also post down in the comments that uh, what's your experience so far with Master Duel? Have you uh, enjoyed uh, the game? Have you purchased the gold pass? What kind of decks are you building? Um, it's really just great to uh, see that so many people are excited about this game and uh, really coming together in such a, a positive way. So I'm really looking forward to the, the future of Master Duel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one.